is, bro. Yes, sir. That she can't be in her right mind. She can't be. You're at your son's graduation. You understand? You got parents and you have children there because your son is a, still a child. Right. And you're you're performing. Well, you're <laughs> displaying acts like that and that's such something wrong with it. You know, and they think it's okay. Game. Yeah, they right. think that mm-hmm. things all right. Hey, the Bible says you gotta you gotta have some tact. You gotta right. you gotta have right. some composure right. about yourself. The Bible says, hey. Be ashamed of that type of behavior, bro. Right. Play this clip. Watch this. Mother twerks at her son's graduation wow. oh, after gosh. his name was called. Uh. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. How is that a celebration? How is that a still? I don't understand, bro. Yeah. It ain't even, bro. That's it. Didn't even get bad yet. It, it's just, it's just. Sheesh. Started from the beginning. It's just heating up. I'm telling what is you. What's wrong? With Can you guess what tribe she from? I don't know. I no. Nah, there's no way. I ain't no telling, right? No, nah, there's no way. You right, can't. There's no way. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, but go back. Watch this. I'm gonna be surprised if a lion run on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. what? You better get it, girl. You better get it, girl. Wow. And she getting egged on by a friend. Oh. Oh. Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, bro, this is, it's bro, something is serious. Uh. Give me Deuteronomy 28, <laughs> 28. Bring it up. Something is seriously no. crazy wrong with it. us, bro. Yes, sir. That she can't be in her right mind. She can't be. You're at your son's graduation. And you understand? Th- you got parents and you have children there because your son is a, still a child. Right. And you're you're performing, well, you're <laughs> displaying acts like that and that's such, something wrong with her. You know, and they think it's okay. Game. Yeah, they think that mm. thing's all right. Read that. I got a few scriptures on that. Watch read, this. Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. Yeah, read that. The Lord shall smite thee. With madness. Yeah, yeah, that right there. That's she's smitten. She's out of a damn mind. Right. Go ahead. And blindness and astonishment of heart. And astonishment. Give me the one in Psalms 44, right? Mm-hmm. Astonishment. What is it? 14? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, Give me that one. Let me hear that. Psalms 44. The book of Psalms, chapter 44 and verse 17. 14. 14. 14. I apologize, sir. The book of Psalms, chapter 44 and verse 14. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. Right, go ahead. A shaking of the head. A shaking of the head, bro. Go back. Just don't play it. Just put it up there. This is a shaking of the head, bro. Wow. Sit down That's right. and just clap like an. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, that, read it again. Read the verse again. Watch this. Verse 14. Go ahead. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. Mm-hmm. A shaking of the head among the people. Hey, give me Sirach. I'm staying in Sirach for a little bit. Go to um Sirach 41. Watch this, y'all. Sirach 41 and 17. All right, just to show you that, for example, the heathen are like, hey, what's wrong with her? Right. But in her mind, she like, nah, this is cool. This, this is good behavior right here. And she got a friend egging her on or whatever. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter 41 and verse 17. Come on. Be ashamed of whoredom mm-hmm. before father and mother. Come on. And of Bring a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Hey, the Bible say you gotta you gotta have some tact. You gotta right. you gotta have right. some composure right. about yourself. The Bible say, hey, be ashamed of that type of behavior, bro. Right. Uh, read it again. Watch this. Be ashamed of whoredom uh-huh. before father and mother. Go ahead. And of a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Hey, give me the one in Psalms one, uh, 112. Watch this. All right. 112 and 5. Psalms chapter 112 and verse 5. This is what's lacking in the black and Hispanic community, in the households. Why? Because before you read that, give me uh, Isaiah 3 and uh, 12. All right. You know. This is why this is happening. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. She don't have a husband to, to check her, right. to put her right. in right. place. Bring it up. You right. Right. And, this is, and these are the same type of women who cry and complain, mm. oh, there's no good black man. Because right. you you a no good black devil. That's mm-hmm. why. What is Bring wrong? it up. Twerking who, at a graduation. Who wants to marry that? Nobody. Read that Nobody. for us. Uh, the book no. of Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 12. Uh-huh. As for my people, uh-huh. children are their oppressors. Children are oppressors. Go ahead. And Women and what? Women 
Rule over them. And that's what you see for poor uh, Travion. I think his name is Travion, right? Travion. Travion. Mm -hmm. for poor Travion Damn. had to see I mean, that walking across the stage with his principal and his teachers and got to see his, friends his and, mama yeah. in the mm. audience twerking, twerking. bro. That's As true. if he's never seen her do it before. But he's like, damn, mama, you got to do it here, too. Come right. on now, dog. That's crazy. Ah. Hey, that's Travion, mama. Hey, oh, man. Damn. Damn. Um, what I call in Psalms? 112. Yeah, read that. Sheesh. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 112 and verse 5. Go ahead. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Some, somebody read it, please. Right? He's going through it over there, y'all. The book of Psalms, chapter 112 and verse 5. Go ahead. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. That's the key. That's the key. She not. She don't have no type of discretion None. whatsoever. Uh, no. She's she's loo. She's loud. Right. Uh, Proverbs seven and ten. Bring it up. I'm sorry, y'all. Proverbs chapter okay. seven and ten. And we hey, we almost hey, we got to wrap it up anyway. You know, yeah. Hey, but hey, hey, I got we got we got a wrench to throw in this week's coon of the week. Mm -mm. All right, well, I got something for you. Okay. All right, read that for me. The book of Proverbs chapter seven and verse ten. Go ahead. And behold, there meet him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Come on. And subtle of heart. Come on. She is loud. She is what? Loud. And, and stubborn. Loud and stubborn. You can't, you can't correct her. You can't tell her anything that she's doing, any of her behavior is wrong. Right, right. Because she's loud, she's stubborn, she has no shame. All right, I'm sorry. I know I took that one. But I'll let y'all get a precept on this one, though. <laughs> Uh, shouts out to Northern Kingdom oh, because right. because right. all we've been doing is primarily been focused on the Southern Kingdom yes. right? and Coon of the Week. You're right. All right. So now Northern Kingdom got to get some of this too. Women in Brazil dancing in support of Hamas. Come dancing now, in support wow. of Hamas Come on, man. in the streets. Dancing in support. Let's look at play the video. All right, play that. Dancing for Hamas. <laughs> And this, this is not impressive. This is <laughs> not impressive. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, I'm not impressed. But so you got you got our people down there in Brazil getting it in. Officers, what y'all got? Somebody Give me a come and look at Go this. Uh-oh. Ain't nobody got no, 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 no nobody Kingdom. got a script on Northern Kingdom. <laughs> Finally, Northern Kingdom is on Coon right. of the Week, and no, nobody got Come nothing. On now, Let dog. me get the book of Deuteronomy. Come on, Here thank you, go. Malachi. Chapter 28 Jeez. and verse 29. Come on, man. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 29. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 29. Huh? And thou shalt grope at noonday. So the Bible says, what, the children of Israel, we're going to grope at noonday. You know at noonday, it's, it's bright outside, so... Well, it says we're going to be blinded even when it's uh, bright outside. Go ahead. As the blind gropeth in darkness, uh -huh. and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. It says we shall not prosper in our ways. Why? Because for one, we don't know who we are as a nation mm -hmm. of people. For two, anything, anytime something pops off with another nation, we're ready to come together and support them. Right. But we don't support each other. Go ahead. Right. And thou now, shalt dog. be only oppressed. It says we shall be only oppressed. When you more concerned about other nations, mm -hmm. that's a form of oppression. When there we go, go out and teach there our go. people, the first thing they say is, what about the white man? Right. Right. They don't right. think about their own people. They think about the other nations. Go ahead. And spoiled evermore. Uh -huh. And no man shall save thee. He says, no man shall save us. What? Because many great leaders came before trying to redeem us, but what? We still in the same condition. Hey, that's yeah. excellent. That's oh, an Christ. excellent yeah. point right there. Give me uh, uh, Ezra 9 and 7 to go with Officer Malachi to just bring out because, because, uh, give me the one in um, Nehemiah 6 and 1 first. Then I want Ezra uh, 9 and 7. All right? Because it's like Officer Malachi said, because of oppression, we all, well, you know, Northern Kingdom. Northern Kingdom <laughs> down, there, down there dancing in the streets for Hamas, right. but right. Hamas think they don't give a darn they about you. Right. About no. Read that real quick. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 6 and verse 1. Go ahead. Now it came to pass when Sambalot and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabians uh -huh. and the rest of our enemies. And the rest of our who? Enemies. It's showing you the Arabians, they are our enemies. Right. But like That's the officer right. was bringing out, because we've been oppressed, 
anytime we see somebody else getting oppressed, we think that we can right. join hand in hand, and they and we think they're gonna have sympathy for us because right. uh, no. we got a conscious. God made Jacob different. Oh, you understand? Right. He made us upright, and but you know that's right. not like the other nations. They're different. They were not created mm. to keep God's commandments. Right. We were. That's, right. that's right. why we got to be the leaders and put them in subjection that's to right. God's commandments. Right. But not to escape their point. Give me uh, Ezra 9 and 7. Watch this. The book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 7. Go ahead. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. Come on. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the land. Right. Because of our sins. So we, right. just like the officer saying, we've been oppressed. We've been despised. We've been hated. Come on. To the sword. To captivity uh -huh. and to a spoil. Read. And to confusion of faith. And to what? Confusion of faith. We don't know who, who we are. Mm. That's why we like to assimilate and join with the other nations. Right, but these right. other nations don't give a darn nope. about it. It don't matter if you got straight hair and you like skinned it. Bring it it up. don't matter. Bring it they up. still no. your enemies. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!